why is that? Expected and that people are expecting a lot of him. He's shown a lot of potential. That's why they call him the special one. Well, I think so, he's one of our top prospects, Loi. So yes. I'm a big fan of Nonchenga. Yes. But he's got a more experience. Of Seven's out. And we'll see how he plays. Round number the one. After eight fights, he's already where he is now, being a, a big joker here in his standard. And uh, he's won all eight of those fights inside the distance. And today he's fighting a well-experienced, a well-traveled warrior from the Filipinos, for the Philippines. And uh, let's see how Nonchinga uh, performs today to show us where he's uh, really going in this game. What you see once again with Soriano, he's carrying that left lead very low by the hip. And I've seen he likes to do in his previous fights as well. What is the reasoning behind it? Because you're usually taught to keep your hands up. Why would you carry that left lead low? Well, it's the, it's the new style of fighting because uh, it's in fact, it's, it's, it was started by the Americans, it's the American way, where they keep that uh, lead hand hanging. And then they don't really use their hands for blocking. They use uh, their head, their body, their positioning, rolling with the punches in terms of their shoulders to avoid being punished. And then they use their hands only for punching. So that hand is also poised for counter punching or starting the attack. And if you are Seven on Chinga, yeah, he's looking for that right hand over that left lead. Because if Soriano is a bit slow, he can throw that right hand over it. The Filipinos are known for being very strong. And uh, once they put on the pressure, they keep it on. And they take punches, especially to the head. But uh, it has also been said, and it's been happening here for some time. It's happened in some fights here at this hall, where it's said that, but once you go to their bodies, they are not as strong as they are with the head. But we've seen that Nonchinga now went with two good blows to the head. Let's see if that's his strategy and whether it will work or not. Nonchinga has the aggressor, nice shot to the body as well. And I think he's got the right plan here, Sive Nonchinga. From the previous fights I've seen of Soriano, he doesn't like the pressure too much. But let's see. Besides uh, his boxing skills, in terms of what he can do today, it's also very interesting to see how strong he is. Because the pressure is going to be on. Big punches are going to be coming. And uh, we, we got to see how well he's going to take those punches. He's going to take that pressure. Because strength, in terms of taking what's given to you in this, in, 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 in this game of boxing, is very important. Soriano leading with a hook and then an uppercut there. Sive has got his hands up. He's more tight uh, in his style than he usually is. End of a first round. Who do you give that round to, Brown? I think this was a good round for Nunchinga. He's I the one so who too. actually took the fight with his opponent and uh, the only four good punches that were effective and scored were thrown by him. Four good shots to the body. And uh, besides that, it's been punches that have been thrown, that have been blocked, that have been uh, that have been ducked from both sides, him and his opponent. So what sets him out, that sort him out from uh, his opponent in this round were those two. With those four body shots, I think I give the round to him, Nonchinga. Good round for Nonchinga, but it's still very early going. There's an awkwardness about Soriano. I think that a lot of the Filipinos have. They have a sort of a herky jerky rhythm. Seven so out. Backward, then suddenly they come and attack you. Round number two. Round number two. The boxers have had the feel of each other and the corners have been in a position to see what's happening in the ring and uh, from now on it goes now into does the plan work must it be adjusted does the plan work must we stick to what we are doing and at the same time always always aware of that unexpected thing that can happen because you can be taken by surprise nice straight shots there to the body from Nchinga. 
You can throw to a body with a hooks like the Chata did, but you can also throw it straight. Soriano looks like he's timing. He's waiting for Lonchunga to come in with a big right uppercut there. He threw it in the first round. As you've spoken it. He's it again now. It's looking like that uppercut could be very, very dangerous. Lonchunga must be very, very much aware of that one. Lonchunga uh, initiated the, the clinch there. Tells you that he felt that right uppercut. There it comes again. Lonchunga has to look out for it. It's a close uppercut, which means he's going, it's a, it, it, Soriano is going to throw it every time Lonchinga comes in. So Lonchinga must be able to do something about it when he is close. He can block it with both hands, with each hand, or he can just move his head aside so that he can be able to counter. But it's dangerous. There's a swelling on Lonchinga's head, his left eye, under the left eye already. Good short right way. Ainon Chinga found the mark just as Soriano wanted to throw. There the jab comes in. And if that eye swells and swells to a point of the eye being closed, that could mean big troubles for Nonchinga because he will, he will only be able to see out of one eye. And uh, that's dangerous for boxing. So I hope that he's going to have, uh, have the end swell to actually tame. That, uh, that, 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 that swelling. Nice jab from Don Chinga going in. He stop going forward, Drew, while the opponent looks very, very uh, dangerous and is waiting for him to throw, to come in and throw that upper cut. Don Chinga is sitting coming forward and that was a big punch but Montinga saw it coming very good right hand and the left hook Montinga saw those punches coming they were very dangerous indeed but he ducked them this is the dangerous opponent I think that last punch just gave Montinga a round but you can see that Soriano is making him think there's also some rough stuff coming in there from Soriano you can see he's pushing with the elbow uh, but if he covered him Bello gave him a warning for that this is going to be very, very dangerous. And Nonjinga must make sure that his defense now is up to scratch. This is, fight is going to be tough. There's the eye. And uh, the corner is working on it. Let's see what's going to happen. One wishes that they keep that swelling down so that it doesn't go to affect his eyesight. Seven's out. Round number three. Here yeah, we go into the third round. Round number three, Nonchinga was able to steal the first two rounds by outworking uh, Soriano. And Soriano looked very dangerous. He managed to convince us in the second round, especially towards the end of the second round, that he was going to be a very dangerous opponent indeed. And I can show now that uh, the alarm bells are on on uh, Nonchinga's side, and he got caught. Nonchinga just got caught with a big left hook, and he's holding on. This is trouble now. Monchinga has got the better hand speed, but uh, he's feeling those punches by Soriano. And he's throwing haymakers. Oh, good right hand from Monchinga. But Soriano soaks it up and he keeps on coming. Monchinga scored with his own good right hand. It's showing now, it's looking like the boxers now are preparing to exchange big bombs. And it's looking dangerous for both of them, but I think Soriano is still the one more dangerous.
this is a war and uh, i don't know i don't know if we're going to see the 12 round distance because it can happen on both sides both boxers are throwing bombs and it's now going to depend on whose bombs find the target and do the damage and there's some swelling maybe in the over left eye of don chinga and that's not something you watch so non chinga is having to ask some questions from himself how bad do you really want this? Yes, in this fight he's been thrown into the deep sea. And uh, he's got to swim. And uh, another right hand misses him. Big right hand misses him. He's been good enough to see those punches coming and slip him. Soriano is catching Nonchinga. With some hard punches. And then Don Chinga comes back like that. With a fast right hand. He came back from that right hand and threw his own. That was good timing on his side. But I think this round... Soriano was the one who actually gave gave Nottingham a good left hook and uh, he staggered him. Besides that, both of them have scored, both of them have missed with big punches. But the one big punch that made the difference is the one that Soriano threw. Soriano made uh, Nonchinga initiate the clinch way, which shows him that he hurt him. Nonchinga came back of his right hand, but Soriano was a guy landing the more telling punches. So round three goes to the man from the Philippines. Seven's out. Round number four. We're going to go for round number four between Sive Nonjinga and Ivan Sotano of the Philippines. It is an international floor junior flyweight fight. And at this stage, it's looking that uh, to be very, very dangerous for both boxers. And the adjustments now have got to be in their boxing skills. They've got to do something special to avoid the big punches from both sides because both of them hit and both of them hit. Big exchange. Soriano just caught Nonchinga now. It's a good right hand. Nonchinga's got to box now. He's got to move, move, move. He's got to throw that jab, double it up, triple it, and move sideways. Move uh, backwards and sideways. And try and counter punch and get the guy to miss when throws. But if he's going to stand there and try and mix it with Soriano, it's going to be very dangerous for him. This Soriano can hit hard. And he's got some notable stoppages. He's catching uh, Nonchinga with an uppercut every now and then. Just got him there again. Now Nonchinga is trying to change the flow a bit. It's getting a bit looser. More on his toes. He's trying to play Soriano's game back at him. Goes not Chinga now with his jab and his right hand. His jab and his right hand. He's trying to keep the fight at bay. He's opening his bay as much as he can. And that is good for him so that he can be able to see things coming and sort them out. Soriano will have to move forward more if he wants to win this fight. He's got to move forward. So because to me, it looks like the more dangerous of the two boxers. But when they, they, they are at long range, he's being picked off by the jab in the straight right hand of Nochinga. Nochinga is picking him off with the jab. He's got to get inside. If he wants to hit Nochinga, he's got to be close and throw big punches. Nochinga is doing well now with that jab. You can have a crowd come alive. Nochinga 
by King Soriano, missed by Sponches, and he's working the jab when he can. He needs to make him answer when he misses. In the last few seconds, you can count five overhand rights from both sides that all missed. That means it's ten in all. Five from both sides. Ten in all. Oh, beautiful! Oh, 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 and Soriano goes! Beautiful right hand! Beautiful Soriano is down! And Soriano goes down! He is a problem! He's got a problem taking the count! Nonchina must go for the kill now! Is he going to finish it? Let's see! Saved by the bell! Saved by the bell! Well, that was a very tough round! But Nochinga closed the gap there, made Soriano miss, and absolutely nailed him with that right hand, Loriso. Nailed him with that right hand, and Soriano went down like a sack of potatoes, made it to his feet, and lucky for him, the bell saved him. Can he recover in the next round? Let's see how this guy is going to come out in this next round. Because to me, it was surprising how he beat the count itself, because that knockout was, that knockdown was bad. He is still going to come back for war. Let's see if he comes back, comes back refreshed. Even still generous to throw more punches or Nonchinga is going to finish him. Let's see how Nonchinga, because this so is what going to show what Nonchinga is going to out five. of now. What he does in the next round is going to be very important for his career. When the crowd in the Orient is singing like that, you know we're getting behind their man. And they're feeling it now. Nonchinga coming forward. Still coming to finish the fight. I like his defense. He gets under those blows, those wallops from Soriano and uh, he digs down, digs with the uppercut, digs with the body and comes with the overhand which is the one that actually dropped Soriano in that round. He is fighting, fighting like a man. And you notice how he leaned back from that uppercut when uh, Soriano threw it. This time he didn't it. Great hit with it. He, he knew it was coming. Left hook from Sivanati Nonchinga. Nonchinga boxing beautifully now. Boxing behind the jab. But that uppercut caught him again, but that didn't catch him good enough. But that uppercut is waiting for him, and that uppercut, as long as Soriano is still standing, is going to be a problem. That right uppercut. Oh, okay. another right hand. Again. He's down. Go, 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 go. Soriano down. goes down. This time, he's not going to beat the count. This is the end of the fight, and... Uh, Nonchina will never win this fight by knockout, the biggest win of his career. This makes him the prospect of the year and the one to watch in future for South African boxing. And uh, Nonchina will never win this fight by knockout, the biggest win of his career. This makes him the prospect of the year and the one to watch in future for South African boxing. What a fight! And Nonchinga Seconds of round number five, 
your winner coming by way of knockout and still the IBF International Light Flyweight Champion. He is the special one, Sibe Nonchi.